Hello, I am Mike Friesenegger, Global Solutions Architect at SUSE, working on the IBM and SUSE partnership. I will, during the next several minutes, demonstrate setting up and using Terraform and Salt to automate the deployment of a highly available SAP HANA installation on Power Virtual Servers in IBM Cloud. To begin, go to the open source project SUSE slash HA-SAP-Terraform-Deployments on GitHub. The PowerVS project is currently a branch of the HA-SAP Terraform deployment project. Select the PowerVS branch by using the Switch Branches and Tags drop-down. Scroll down into the Supported Cloud Provider section, selecting IBM Power Systems Virtual Server. A high-level description section lists the functionality that has been tested and future capabilities to be added. This demo will focus on the Quick Start section. The demo will start at Step 4 of the Quick Start. Use the links in the Quick Start to complete Steps 1 through 3. Steps 1 through 3 are already completed for this demo. Let's show the results for Steps 2 and 3 in the IBM Cloud Web Interface. A private and public subnet have been created. The SAP HANA installation archive file and the SAP CAR executable have been uploaded in an IBM Cloud object storage bucket. The GitHub project needs to be cloned locally before starting with step 4. In a terminal, use the git command to clone the PowerVS branch. Now change into the newly created directory called ha-sap-terraform-deployments, continuing into the PowerVS directory. At this point, we are prepared to start with step 4. Copy the Terraform TFRs example file to Terraform TFRs and edit the file. Use the suggested configurations in the Quick Start as well as comments in the Terraform TFRs file while editing. I will be right back after I've edited the file. The file has been edited. I am scrolling down the file to explain a bit more about several options. The OS underscore image parameter defines the image used for all Terraform deployed instances. This image ID is a SLES for SAP 15SB2 manually built Kiwi image that will be used for the two HANA instances. The bastion underscore OS underscore image parameter is created using the IBM Cloud provided SLES for SAP 12 SP4 image ID. Changing the provisioning underscore log underscore level parameter to trace is optional. More output is shown, which may ease your concern that your first Terraform and Salt deployment has not hung versus waiting and wondering during long periods of no output when the log level parameter is set to the default. The final parameter I would like to explain is HANA underscore data disks underscore configuration. With this configuration, Terraform will create seven PowerVS Tier 1 disks with the respective sizes. Five volume groups are created with some containing multiple disks. The logical volumes are formatted with XFS with the mount points defined in FS tab. This parameter is customizable, but I encourage you to wait to customize until your first successful quick start deployment. Last word of caution, please use these disk sizes as a starting point so the automated HANA install does not run out of space. On to step 5 in the quick start, which creates SSH keys that will be used by SALT for the HANA instances that will be clustered. Step 6 copies SALT pillar example files. There are additional pillar example options, but I encourage you to use the automatic option for the first Terraform and SALT deployment. The requirements.yml file needs some lines removed in step 7. I encourage making a copy of the original file before editing. The python shap tools lines need to be removed because SLES for SAP 15SB2 images are being used for the HANA instances, and the Python 3 shap tools package is the only shap tools package required for SLES 15 or newer. The Terraform and Salt deployment begins in step 8, starting with Terraform init. Before doing Terraform init, 
ensure that Terraform is installed, and verify that it can be run. I recommend using the dash dash version option to verify that Terraform is working. The Terraform workspace option is used to define a SUSE workspace. The Power VS instances in this demo will be prefixed with SUSE when being created. Next is Terraform Plan. It is important to review the output of Terraform Plan to confirm Terraform will create the expected resources. There are 24 resources being created in this Terraform deployment. Terraform Apply starts the deployment. A timer is also being started to record the time it takes Terraform and Salt to complete the deployment of the highly available SAP HANA on IBM Power VS instances. The creation of the storage volumes happens at the beginning of Terraform Apply. The playback is being increased but slowed at certain points to show important milestones in the deployment. The Terraform portion of the Bastion instance creation is nearing completion. The Bastion instance is connected to the public and private subnets. Terraform is setting up the Bastion instance per IBM Power VS documentation to be the router for the HANA instances that will only be on the private subnet. Terraform will hand off configuration management tasks for the Bastion instance to SALT. The SALT portion of the Bastion instance configuration is complete. As the Bastion instance deployment is finishing, Terraform has already started building the two SAP HANA instances. Both HANA instances have been created. Terraform will complete the preparation of the instances before handing off to SALT for system configuration, SAP HANA installation, enabling HANA system replication, lastly installing and configuring SUSE Linux Enterprise High Availability to automate HANA failover in case of primary system failure. The demo has been fast forwarded to where the HANA-data volume group has been created and formatted with the XFS file system. The SAP HANA installation is being started on one of the instances. SALT has completed the deployment on the first HANA instance. Let's fast forward to where SALT is just completing its work on the second HANA instance. Terraform reports important information about the deployment when it completes. The deployment has completed successfully in a little over one hour and one minute. The final part of this demo is showing how to use the Bastion instance to access HANA01, which is only on the private subnet. The quick start has you edit the SSH config file putting in the IP addresses for the Bastion and HANA instances. Once this is done, SSHing to default HANA01 is simple. Now we can see HANA is running and highly available. Thank you for watching. Let me know if this video is helpful in your very first Terraform and SALT deployment of SAP HANA on SLUS for SAP on IBM Power Virtual Server instances. Thank you.